respected rajesh sir and my dear friends so i am very happy to present a topic which is e automobiles the revolution of the present decade in the indian automobile industry in front of you and why i did say it as a revolution so let me explain it to you so uh, in the first page i am explaining what is an e automobile is so an e automobiles are those which uses electrical energy to produce mechanical power which in turn helps the system to move here no ic engines are used where the ignition of the fossil fuels are used to generate the power hence it is a zero polluting vehicle and uh, the pollution levels are also even the using in much lower comparing to the overall energy production in the ic engines from the burning of fossil fuels and all so that is one of the key reason why indian government is promoting the manufacturing and marketing of e automobile through which it can curb the pollution levels in a huge scale coming to the third page i have explained to you what are the advantages of e automobile so e automobiles are actually zero polluting vehicle as i have said earlier and uh, higher efficiency is one of the key factor like around 3 to 4 times as an electric is directly converted to the mechanical energy there is less moving parts inside the engine so you can guess that uh, is, since there is less moving part there is also less mechanical energy loss and the considering also other energy losses also very less so there is uh, there is more uh, mechanical efficiency more passenger cabin the engine space consumption is comparatively lesser uh, overall consumption is lesser comparing to the other mechanical ic engines so it's flexible to design a, a cabin with more cabin space and uh, latest technology driven features can be easily created with more flexibility we know that uh, in an ic engines first electrical engine is parallelly connected towards a dynamo is parallelly connected towards uh, the uh, the uh, ic engine and further the an electrical energy is produced and stored in a battery and then it's converted by this kind of what the electrical equipment i see the ic chips and all which is used in it but in an electrical vehicle you can see that direct uh, directly the electricity is storage in the battery so there is no need of con con uh, like conversion so more energy can be stored and more uh, the like the directly the energy can be utilized for this kind of technology driven features and uh, coming to the fourth page i'm explaining in to you there are some uh, present developments in india regarding in which the government had supported and encouraged for uh, the like uh, the increased marketing and uh, uh, to activate the presence in a more higher percentage comparing to the last years in a boosted way so there are some schemes actually so um, the first one is national electric mobility mission plan 2020 and uh, the second one is faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicle it's known as fame and the third one is national mission on transformative mobility and uh, battery storage as a five a five year five year manufacturing program till 2020 for mass production of battery locally in the large scale so uh, i need to explain on this that uh, presently our country is importing this batteries completely so that's why the reason there is a negative side that the electrical vehicles are a bit on the expensive side so we need to control that in order for that we are con con considering its indigenous production and coming uh, to the fame scheme uh, uh, which have been the second point on the fourth page so i would like to explain it is an as an it's an important point the indian government started faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicles which provide uh, tax incentives for the purchases purchasing electric vehicles the government is uh, releasing tenders to increase the charging infrastructure in the country and uh, the phase one has been considered from 2015 to 2019 now we are in the second phase uh, uh, until 2025 and uh, coming to the sixth page so while uh, implementing these changes we are also parallelly facing some challenges the first one is charge of lacking infrastructure so we know that like uh, presently since most of the vehicles are uh, ic engine driven there are many petrol petrol pumps diesel pumps around the roads highways and all so when once the electric vehicles are popular in the roads we also need similar charging stations which provide the charging facilities for this kind of e automobiles so in order to do that we also need to develop the charging facilities next the next one is lack of renewable energy and grid infrastructure we know that uh, uh, since the energy production is highly depended on this kind of fossil fuels like thermal plants where our fossil fuels are uh, burned and for the uh, 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 like for the production of electricity and all we need to depend more on the renewable energy sources for the production of energy like dams nuclear reactors solar powers which can be indigenously like 
uh, like each and every home can be a production house for electricity through the solar power and all so government is focusing uh, parallelly on for more dependence on this kind of renewable sources so that we can completely remove uh, even though also like we can see that uh, uh, but overall when we are using this electric vehicles uh, uh, like the electric thermal power plants are more efficient than the ic engine so still the energy uh, like the uh, pollution will be much lesser so on the seventh page i am taking to some of the electric vehicles which are present in the country the first one is mahindra e2o uh, like it has a range of 120 kilometers it was actually planned for a city car actually inside the town only or uh, or for, for a short distance commutation but the second one is tata nexon suv it has been introduced in the early 2020 so it we can see that it's a uh, it's very efficient compared to the Mahindra it leaves ahead actually. So we can see that uh, the next one is uh, uh, Aether 450X. It's a two-wheeler commuter and Mahindra E Auto. As we know that for uh, for encouraging the pu public transport facilities, Mahindra has also launched the E Auto facilities. And the last one is, uh, last page I am discussing about uh the two international plants actually the second one the mahindra hyundai kona is actually present in the roads it has a range of around 400 kilometers and the next one is tesla roadster it has it's a high performance car with high acceleration on road so thank you guys i'm i'm really happy to introduce you in, into the world of this e-automobile industry so um, and uh, thank you Tesla, for giving this wonderful opportunity